Hello, Chris Tomley uh, of Rognew here again with uh, the latest installment of our Stage Impact uh, Test Drive series uh, featuring the Accounts Payable module. I'm going to take you through um, creating a bill, selecting it for payment, moving it on, and printing. Uh, there's a lot of functionality in the AP uh, module that you can si assign uh, in the roles in the user base permissions piece. Um, if you'd like to see that further, uh, as far as specific examples, we should you know, schedule some time to talk about that and what you, you're kind of looking for. Uh, but for, as far as this goes, I'm just going to keep it top level and kind of flow everything through. Uh, but just keep in mind as you look at the demo, uh, there is a lot you can do with permissions, uh, specifically in this module, uh, as far as approving payments, queuing payments, releasing payments. Um, and we'd be happy to show uh, that functionality to you. Okay, so first we're going to show uh, the bills. So you can see um, you know, all the bills that are already queued up. Um, if you want to create a new bill, um, you know, if you've got an existing vendor, um, the best thing to do is to view uh, a previous bill. Click duplicate. Uh, you know, change the parameters. Obviously, the bill number is going to change. Uh, potentially, the due date, uh, probably the posting dates as well, because you're going to have the next month. So you would maybe do. Uh, January of 18, whereas this is December of 17. Um, adjust the amount. Uh, most times, obviously, if it's the same vendor, the account number is going to be standing, um, and then you would just post new. So, um, high ability to to streamline posting of uh, you know kind of repeat type bills where you're going to get uh, you're paying somebody on a monthly or um, you know periodic basis like that. I, I highly recommend just duplicating a bill that's already in the system. Um, you know, again, you'll see the attachment fields here as we've seen uh, uh, on prior screens. Uh, if you have a paper invoice uh, or, I'm sorry, PDF invoice that's come in from the sender, you want to drag and drop it here, you would just do that for, uh, you know, your support. Um, so that's, you know, how you would enter a bill. And then if you, you posted a new one, you know, it would be added to my list. Uh, you can see the, you know, differentiators here between posted and paid. Um, so these posted ones you know, are all posted in, a, in my uh, my ledger uh, and available to be paid, whereas these have already been paid. So um, let's take a look at you know, how we select uh, select bills to be paid. So uh, select bills to be paid, um, view the report. So here's everything out there that's you know there's posted bills again that I can choose to pay. Uh, you can pick your pay method, um, pick the bank that you want to use. Uh, payment date, uh, currency. Um, so I'm going to do check uh, check so we can show uh, some check functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and select these guys. Uh, if I want to pay a partial payment, I can enter that here. If I want to pay full, just click pay full and then save. Now these are queued up to be paid. Um, obviously, right now I'm using my uh, CPA user account, um, which means it's basically an administrative account. Uh, the AP functionality allows you to put in a lot of different, uh, you know, approval levels. So if you want to put in, you know, approval levels of, you know, a certain dollar threshold uh, where somebody could submit a payment uh, request and then it goes into the approval process, uh, you would do that. You know, if it's something that's, you know, over five grand requires a certain, you know, approval to go through. Um, you can put that in there. You can put different tiers in and assign, uh, you know, different... Um, roles uh, and users to, to do that approval process. I don't have any of these on there because again, I'm using an, uh, an admin um, type role. Um, so these are just gonna kind of go almost as though the approval functionality, had we put it in, um, has already been there because I've got full functionality. Um, <clears throat> so I select them to be paid. But when I now want to view the payment request, you can see those ones that I've selected standing out there uh, and ready to be paid. You know, again, if you went to the approval, you you could go to the approved payments function and, and clear those payments, uh, which would then you know uh, kind of queue them along. So let's look at uh, printing checks. You know, here's the screen. Uh, select a checking account. I want to use my Silicon Valley top top account. Uh, you can you know use uh, micro or pre-printed checks uh, depending on whatever you're, uh, you know you guys want to have set up. Functionality for both. Choose what details I want uh, to be printed on the um, check and stubs, and then go ahead and click print. 
Now the print is always going to pop up in a separate Chrome screen um, in Adobe format. Uh, you can see you know, the check is here. So you're going to print right out of here. Uh, so once I do print, you know, send this print job over to my printer, um, I, you've now seen the checkbox came up and they, it's assigned the check numbers. Okay. Um, so now I've got check numbers. I've got the ability to confirm or void. If the prints, uh, check's printed well, they're good to be shipped and sent out. I would go ahead and click confirm up here. That's going to post my checks as, uh, you know, event outstanding, uh, will flow over, and, you know, and then appear on, um, gosh, if I can find it, the check register. So my check registers. Um, you'd see it there, or I could click void if there was a problem printing, or I, you know, by, by error picked something and released something that I didn't want to. Um, I have the ability, I'm going to go ahead and void these out so I can put them back in my demo environment. Um, but you can see how that function works. So that concludes uh, the presentation of the uh, test drive of the AP module. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, again, here's our contact information. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, and thank you for your interest in Rognu and Sage Intact.